I'm just gonna sit here until I see some names. Yes, I know. I had a live video up, guys, earlier and took it down because I didn't see if anybody was on. And now I'm trying it again in prom two because of my crazy day of not being able to upload because I screwed up <laughs> so bad. But anyway, if you're there, please say hello. Anybody here? I know I should have posted it. Oh, thank you. There we go. Hi, Joyce. How about you? Oh, great. There are people here. Yay. <laughs> Yes, I'm a total spaz. I was filming earlier and then I went to go filming to the special membership part of my channel and I went to do like sign on for it and sign up for it and I um, couldn't get through my account, couldn't get through my account and I, had, I couldn't understand why I was not getting the notification to get into my account. Yay. Um, and I found out and it had to like lock me out that when I went to go back on my phone and unlock the airplane mode, well, there's where all of it, there was the verification codes because I had it on airplane mode. Spaz that I am. Oh, good. Thank you for watching my other videos. Hello from Florida. Yeah, I, uh, I'm a total spaz. It must be the coronavirus brain fog. <laughs> Thank you, Emily. So I figured right now we'll just chit chat for a bit, um, if you have any questions, and then I'll do some painting since I uh, couldn't upload my video. Cape Cod! Yay! What part of the Cape? I need to go down there right now. It's so warm. Are the beaches open? Are people swimming? Probably not. It's freezing. Pensacola, Florida. So glad to hear that I'm not alone. Yeah, I have Centerville. Oh, nice. I, um, I've been in there a couple of times, but I usually vacation in Chatham. Uh, Old Silver Beach area, and of course the vineyard. It's big. Canada, nice. So if you guys have any questions about painting, whatnot, before I start to do some painting. 80 in Michigan. Yeah, it's 84 here today in Massachusetts, and super humid. No lifeguards yet. Well, of course, no lifeguards yet. It's not like, um, I think they're going to have them around 4th of July around here. I don't know. It's crazy. Still some beaches around me are closed. Sadly, this whole thing is just, I want it to end. The vineyard is my fave. Yeah, mine too. <laughs> I like Nantucket too, but it's a little more snooty titty. Quincy, hey, close by. <laughs> Literally 20 minutes from my house. Um, so I think I'll do is I'll start to paint. And then if you have any questions, um, I'll answer them as I'm painting. I had meant to do this tutorial um, last week. Hey, California. My son's out there. He's in Monterey. I'm so jealous. <laughs> um, but I didn't do it. 11 centigrade. That's a different. I don't know what that is compared to, to Fahrenheit. What is my favorite medium? I don't know. Let's see. I don't really have one. I do them all. Sorry. <laughs> I like painting acrylics. I like painting watercolor. Um, I don't paint oils. This painting you see back here is an oil painting I did in 1991 in a studio I had in Brooklyn when I got out of college. Um, and I can't do oils in my studio because they're very smelly and toxic. I would need an outside studio for that. I know they make the oils a little better today, but they're still not good to have like breathing in all the time. We're in Brooklyn Park Slope. I lived on President between 7th and 8th and John Turturro was my neighbor. It was awesome. I miss New York and I feel bad for all the New Yorkers. Um, I can't even imagine. I have friends posting pictures in Manhattan that's desolate. It's just bizarre. And I spent so many years working in Manhattan. So, okay. So I'm going to flip the camera like a magic. Uh, started with acrylics, recent watercolor junkie. Yeah, watercolor is fun. Brooklyn Heights, Carol Guards. Oh, my God. Yeah, know that, know that. My husband's grandmother had her house on Pineapple Street in Brooklyn Heights. They sold it for, someone stole that house basically. They sold it for a little money. 51. That's cold. <laughs> All right, I'm standing up and flipping the camera. Oh, bear with me. All right, this is my desk. Oop. So, this is just like a, let me see, I don't know what size this is. Maybe like a, a five or six by six. I'll have to measure it. Opening up my desk drawer. Seven by seven. Seven by seven piece of arches scrap that I had. 
I drew a heart in the middle. Now I can standing up so I can see your comments and questions and I'll try and answer them um, as I go. You know, there's like a highlighted, I don't know if it's showing up on the, um, the feed, but there's like highlighted dollar sign, whatever. That's how I can see if you wanted to do, you know, they have these things like where you, the fan thing where you do an emoji on that and you can see the highlighted comment, whatever. I don't know how it works. I have yet to do that. A lot of people do it, but I don't know. I have no clue. I just wing it as I go. So let's just paint. So I just drew a heart. You know if you can really see that very faintly and we're going to paint something similar to what i had on um, pinterest i posted that i did on instagram now i'm just mixing my greens with the crappy brush so this is hooker's green that's like a medium green if you hear my dog barking he's out in the yard with my husband it's gorgeous out it's a little hot i'm mixing the yellow with the dark yellow just mixing up some colors. These are just cheap artist loft colors. They look like this. They, I have to get some more. I'm running out. And I need to get some other colors too, but the store has been closed and ordering online has been sporadic. And this is pink and medium red. And I think I'll do some purple up here. I can do a multicolored situation. Ultramarine blue so again if you have any questions let me know I can answer them I can see them okay, fix. just got myself some paints great um, I would like to get some Holbein watercolor I have Holbein gouache which I did a tutorial on this is the newer gouache they are awesome because they're really vibrant. Um, they make the best colors. What I used to use in the beginning, getting back into watercolor, were the Japanese watercolors. You, they, uh, obviously, I use them a lot. You can see them right here. I think it's, I don't, please, I don't, I don't know the saying, if I'm saying it correctly. I think it's Karateke or Karateke or something like that, Gambese watercolor. They're like $30 on Amazon, $30 something dollars. Gouache, I know, I gotta do some more gouache. I gotta do some more gouache. I actually wanna put some more acrylics on my channel. My channel was meant to do, I don't know how we got, just got to be all watercolor, because you can see if you scroll back, there is some acrylic. Ugh. This is gonna be a fast one, because now I have a low battery. <laughs> I'm just batting 100 here. So I'm going to go fast. We'll do some fast questions. I'm on 20% battery, guys. Sorry. Uh, I'm just a mess today. I'm going to use my Princeton number 8. Let's just say I used to... to I'm going to see if I can move the camera so I can read the questions better. Yeah, low battery. Yeah, this is what I do. I was trying to charge it before I got on, but... So, we're going to make some leaves, the stems, from the middle. I'm going to add a little burnt umber. It's going to be fast. If I get cut off, I'm sorry, guys. The middle. I'm going to put some outward, like this. Might not be my best tutorial, but because I feel so rushed because I know that the battery's gonna die. And we'll grab some of the purple color. And we'll just make like some purple flowers. Kind of like a pansy. Could be just a three. Kind of looks like an iris actually. Petal flower. The key is to keep the flowers within the heart shape. But then I use these stems to give it that nice V on the bottom. So, any questions, again, put them out there. I'll answer them. I'll be looking up. And I'm just going to dab in some of that bright purple. I, 
I gotta tell you guys, I used to hate this paper. This is the Arches Cold Press 100% cotton paper. I had bought it because I remember watching someone saying, oh, Arches is the best, you have to use Arches only. And I was using pretty cheap paper, actually, I have to admit. And I didn't care, because I liked the way it bled. But then I tried this, and I hated it. I absolutely hated this paper. I'm going to grab some more burnt ember and put it in the screen. Put another stem in here. And this is what I tell you guys all the time to, and then we're going to put some leaves in here. Cotton is good. You haven't tried it yet? Yeah. Um, it has a tooth to it, as you know, and it's a little tricky. So then I started just practicing on it and manipulating it and doing more wet and wet. And I grew to love it. I did. I love it. It's funny how that happens, right? I'm going to grab some of this pink. But that will happen. You have to get used to it. I did always like the hot press better. Um, just putting in some simple petal flowers. This one won't look as nice as the one I've, I show on Pinterest and Instagram because I feel like, like I said, rushing. If I go black, you're going to get this. Oh yeah, with the paint, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't hate me, please. Um, I know I'm a moron. If I can figure out how to charge the phone and have my, um, I could take out the microphone and you can hear an echo. I could do that and we could be charging the phone at the same time, if that might work, if I get really low. So then I'm putting in more of the cerulean blue up in here. So a little more blue than the purple. And just making these roundish movements like that. Loose. I like to have my palette a little messy, as you can see. I know some people are just like, I'm using three colors, and they keep the palette kind of clean, describe the colors. I like it when you're mixing and mixing and mixing, because then you have a unique color. It's something that's created by just mixing. Now, I don't know if I'm even liking this painting right now, but I'm just going to go with it. See, right now I can say I hate it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I want to just move on with it and see what happens. I'm amazed at the color options to the set. Yeah. Well, I mean, I just put my own colors in there and I mix them around a lot. I might throw in a little yellow. Make it more like a wildflower situation. A little more pointy flowers in here. So it's getting a little crazy. It adds more greenery. I have to say, I'm not really loving this right now. It's, my intention was different than what's coming out. I just feel like maybe I'm pressed to create fast. And that's my that's on me because I'm the idiot who tried to do YouTube Live twice. <laughs> so I'm just adding some leaves out here. But we're going to still work with it. We're going to see how it feels when you don't like something and you keep going with it. And sometimes you have to just keep doing that, you know? It's kind of looking like this purple, weird, pinky, rainbowy thing. Maybe add some yellow flowers down here. I think I'm just going to fill it up with more loose type flowers and some more orange ones. And here, kind of like an orange tune. Let's just get a little wild and crazy. And you see, I'm not really doing anything specific, like any kind of specific kind of leaf or petal. I'm just throwing in the color, really. 
It looks like a beautiful fan, yeah? <laughs> I know. It's not quite the thing it's supposed to look like. So we're going to add more leaves up in here. And maybe we'll get to semblance of what I wanted to do in the first place. Get a little more wild. You know, sometimes you just go with it. You don't know what's going to happen. I might want to add some of the pinkish red flowers back out here to kind of make it not look like this weird purple pinky fan. So let's throw some of these pink ones. I'm going to make it more like a poppy. Bigger leaves. Fantastic. Well, you think it's fantastic. I think it's ugly. <laughs> I think what it is is that I did one row of purple, one row of thing instead of mixing all the flowers. So that's what I intended to do, right? Throw in some different colors in between, and I didn't do that. So that's why it's looking a little funky and weird to me. But that's okay. We can remedy this. So there's other papers I have yet to try too that are really thick cotton papers. Um, those would probably work really well if you're really getting the paper wet. So if you're doing like um, intense landscapes and you're taping the paper down. Hammer mill paper, I haven't tried that one. I need to try that. Again, I'm going to put another flower down here, pink. This is going to be a little orangey. They mix that orange pinky color inside that yellow. So it's getting a little better, but still not what I quite wanted to do. The pressure was on and I caved. But anyway, you guys can figure this out. You guys are all smart. And I'm going to add some more greenery. I'm going to get the greenery a little more intense. I add the indigo. Indigo is a great color. I think I could paint for days with indigo. I'm just adding in some dark greenery. Simple. Putting in some down here. More leaves coming out. If I go black, guys, don't cape me. Don't kill me. I'm sorry. I have really screwed up my whole day with the video, the tutorial, getting things set up in my channel. I don't know how some people have their crap together. <laughs> I'm going to go back in and grab this yellow and add some green to it. So it's a limey green. And I'm going to throw in this bright yellowish green in between the flowers. That way it gives it some kind of cohesive look to it. But we don't know where we're to begin. You have given, like, I'm sorry, it's fast. Post info in, private group. yeah, well, I'm gonna do like when I have the membership channel. Um, it's coming with the tutorial. It'll be an extra tutorial week. I was going to do a two-tiered channel, but I can barely get out these videos. So I'm just going to do one extra week. Pretty detailed. And um, just to give you guys a sneak peek, it's going to be a botanical with sunflowers. I show you literally how to draw the whole entire sunflower. And then we do the wash. I did another botanical a while back. You can go back and check that one. That's fun. And then you can actually buy the actual botanical on my Etsy shop. So see, I changed it by adding that bright green in kind of everywhere. So the flowers are kind of looking weird. But that bright green is going to pull it all in to one cohesive look. Yeah, the sunflower. So when YouTube decides they legitimately will let me have the membership channel. Like I went and put in the information today and I, uh, see now it looks like a heart. 
Now we're going to do the details. It's in dark purple, purple dioxide, ultramarine blue. Before this camera goes out on me, put those in here and we'll add the yellow at the end. I'm just doing little lines in here, going outward, see? Just fading them outward. So it's kind of like a pansy. Um, so when I when YouTube gives me the go ahead, basically when I have that button, the join button, that's on my homepage. Then I'll put in the community um, page if you want to join the channel, and then the, you'll be able to have the link to go into that video. That's how it's going to go. I'm going to have a link put on the join the join link on the community channel the day before I post the, chan uh, the tutorial. Because I don't know which day of the week will be the free day, not the free day, the, the extra video. So now I'm adding in the darker red in here. So this is super loose. I mean, did you see me? I didn't really make any particular type of certain type of petal or flower. Just throwing in color. And that's simple. I mean, you guys could do this. So if this video dies, you kind of get a feeling of what I did. <laughs> pulling down. You can put some little ones coming out. Kind of fun. Pulling out. And then when the purple dries you can go in and throw in that yellow in the middle. A little too early it will bleed. Same thing with the blue one. What does your paint I'm sorry, that faded out. I'm trying to look at love your videos. Rainy here, uh, Arkansas. Well, we've got hot, hot, hot 80s and sun. So that was pretty quick, right? I did that pretty quickly. So you guys can do that. I'm going back over this one again. Then you can go in and get some really concentrated color. The red. You can make little kind of dots indicating like berries almost, going throughout. Another way to solidify the image. Put those all throughout. Even up in here. It's just different ways to do it. My color choice would have been different had I not felt so pressured. But, hey. This is going to be a quickie, guys. Quickie, impromptu, live tutorial. I think it came out pretty good. I used to do live um, Instagrams, but not anymore. Because you, well, quite frankly, can't make any money on live Instagrams. And I'm an artist who needs to make money like everybody else. So that's why I did YouTube. I had wanted to do it for so long, and then I just felt like I had everything. Thank you. Um, all my ducks in a row, and then I was watching, if you've ever heard of this man named Gary Vernachek, who I love, saying, just get out there and put out content and forget about how everything looks, and so I did. I have the other acrylic channel. I have to go back and do more videos in there. Uh, you can find it on my homepage. Those are just demos, which I like to do. Um, a lot of the talking tutorials take a lot of time. But I am going to add some acrylic to this channel and some more drawings. Look at that, we finished it and before the phone died. <laughs> and go in and add a little red dot to this yellow. It's amazing that I finished it before it died. Well, thank you guys, I'm glad you like it. I mean, to me, I could have made it better if I had more time, but what can I tell you? So I love you guys, you guys are awesome. Um, helping me, watching my videos just helps my channel grow. Um, I wanted to, oh God, I'm so sorry. I can't read that fast. Love it. You love it. I'm glad you like it. See, I, my phone didn't die. It didn't go black yet. It's going to go black. <laughs> I'm mixing these colors. What did you find? Hard of watercolor acrylic. Um, kind of... I hate to say it, like, oh, I got 10%, guys. 10% battery left. Maybe in the beginning, watercolor, um, but maybe in the beginning, same thing with acrylic. I mean, at the beginning of anything, it's hard when you get used to a medium. 
I have been painting since I was like five. My dad is a fine artist. So I guess at this age, 53, kind of like not really hard yet. What I find hard is technical crap on, on uh, the computer. Things that I want to do that way. Got a little more detail. Got some more right brain than left brain and following written directions bothers me. Now you don't have to get mad. <laughs> yes, I'm glad you don't have to get mad. You know, I, I keep talking about these things. You guys should try these. I'm telling you. They're not a little cheap, but the P.H. Martins are so much fun. Uh, you're welcome. Um, they are super bright and crazy and fun. And you can't go wrong with buying some of these and putting them in with your watercolor. See, I'm just throwing in some pink around here. This would be such a nice, I don't see that. I mean, you know, if you want, if you guys just paint a nice heart like this, doesn't see how loose this was neat. The pink ones, well, actually had mixed in pink paint, but I just threw some pink in right now at the last second. So mostly it was not, it was tube paint. See, this is the tube paint. You want bright colors and you have some money. You've got to get Holbein. They're awesome. Um, they, the only gouache that I will use. If I want it, when it comes to white, I can go cheap. I got this. This one's pretty cheap for gouache. But when I want color to paint with, I'm painting with Holbein. This is really old that I had. I used to paint in the early 2000s and basically I've been painting gouache since the 90s um, but gouache I loved it so that's that guys uh, I'm going to I'm ashamed to say I hoard art supplies and have not played enough with my PH Martins well you're like many people I know like myself I have a lot of supplies that I haven't touched sitting there waiting Oops, excuse me I took off the holder of the phone so I can move it around. I think I'm going to flip it so then up close. Oops. Sorry, guys. See how just bloppy that looks up close, but then you go back and you're like, oh, that looks kind of cool, right? But up close, doesn't look like much. It looks like a two-year-old did it, right? Just by putting color down. It's pretty simple. So that's that. I think my phone's about to die. <laughs> I'm glad you guys came along for the ride. It's quiet in North Carolina. Look forward to your lesson every day. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I'm not going to be doing them every day. Um, it's become cumbersome to do tutorials every day. So what I've done, decided now, is that I'm going to be doing um, maybe four tutorials a week. Then I'll have the fifth one as the membership channel tutorial. And then that'll be good. So that's five because I need some days off, people. <laughs> you know? I need some days off. So there we go. It was the Princeton Long Round Brush. These Velvet Series brushes are great. You can get them on, um, I got these at Dick Blick when, before the lockdown. Um, but you can buy Velvet Touch Series on Amazon. Um, mixed all the paints I talked about in this video. When I click the end of this video, I'll, YouTube will ask if it goes up and I'll have them put it up so you guys can see it later on. And there you go. So this is just a quick hello. Sorry for my day of craziness. Yes, it always counts to use if you're watching more than once, I believe. I think. Don't don't quote me on that. The views are the key for um, ad revenue for people on YouTube. The more views, the better. I don't know. Lately, it's been kind of down. I don't like I feel when they're down, it makes me feel down. So. <laughs> I hope I get more views than <laughs> everybody else on YouTube. Um, thank you guys so much for stopping by my impromptu um, live. Take care and look for um, the um, membership video coming soon when YouTube decides to let me do that. If I don't have it by tomorrow, I'll have it maybe the next day or so. So I'll put up a video tomorrow. Um, 
give the thumbs up before you. Okay, great. Thank you. Thanks, guys, so much. Thanks for all your support and your patience. I know I'm crazy spastic with my Instagram live. I'm the Instagram. Excuse me. See, my brain is fried. It's Corona brain. <laughs> that I'm losing it. So take care, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye, guys.